Welcome to more Gran Turismo Sports Special Titan. Today, we're featuring shifter carts around Kyoto Driving Park. And I was able to get the pole. I'm not 100% sure how much that means, but we'll just have to see, folks. We'll just have to see. And another side note of things we'll have to see, too, is... Like I've said in previous videos, I'm in college, so... Because I'm in college and GT Sport the full game comes out on a Tuesday... I'm kind of SOL to be able to play it till Friday night. I'm spit out of luck, pretty much, because I ain't exactly within spitting distance of a GameStop or something like that. So, yeah. Even though I can physically bring my PS4 to college, I won't have the game, so there's kind of no point in it. So pretty much what that means is between now and Friday-ish, all it's going to be is Special Tatin from the demo. But again, like I've said before too, Special Tatin from the demo may as well be from the main game. Because the demo is pretty much just the main game, early access. So whatever, there's that folks. But anyway, here's this. And this is some pretty cotton picking good racing right yonder. And speaking of good racing right yonder... Y'all might remember some kart racing on the channel, just not exactly GT Sport. That's because I was in the GT Planet Karting Series. I guess it's probably helping me some in this race, because I have a good bit of experience in the karts. And... I know some people say that karting physics in this game is kind of awkward, but... To be honest, I like it. I say that because I'm winning, but... and eh, whatever. What's kind of awkward, too, is that in the GT Planet Karting Series, I was okay, not great. I was pretty much the slowest of the top class when it was in classes, and I was sort of top third of the main class when it went to one class about halfway through its run. So, I wasn't terrible at GT Planet Karting Series, but I was far from, say good enough to win a pole for the vast majority of races. I think I won like one pole or something in all of the racing I did or something like that. In this, I was able to qualify top 10 in the world. So, for those of y'all, if any of y'all watching it who were previously in GT Planet Karting Series, if I can do this good, y'all can probably do a whole heck of a heap better. And I ain't exactly doing too bad right yonder. And this race ain't exactly too bad right yonder either. Is Jiminy Cricket, I gotta run on the leader. The leader tried to, I, I don't know, run me over or something, but that didn't exactly work. The physics in this game, dirty racing still sort of kind of works, but dirty racing hurts the, the wrecker almost as much as the wrecky now, which ain't necessarily a bad thing. So it's harder to actually purposely try to wreck somebody, but generally that slows you down a whole heck of a heap as well. And really that sort of kind of showed there. And it's shown too, the draft is a little bit overpowered as well. That makes for fun racing, but to be honest, these carts ain't that realistic. But whatever, it's fun, and that's, that's really what counts, honestly. This is about as much fun as somebody can have. And it's honestly so much fun at this point. No matter what happens in the race, I'm going to go ahead and consider it a win. That one driver who wrecked in the back, maybe not. But at this point, point even if I do get wrecked, Ah, uh, whatever, folks, whatever. This has been about as good a racing as anybody can really ask for. The lap traffic's even being nice for Jiminy Cricket, say. That's something I have right under when the lap traffic's being nice. Or at least it was nice to me there. I think that might have actually slowed the second down a little bit there. But, well, I guess all in all, it probably doesn't matter too much anyway. Because, well, it's looking like... Well, as I say that, it's like I got a whole heck of a heap of run. I was going to say it's looking like I was going to be able to stay on the bottom there, but... Well, Jiminy Cricket, draft is OP. So, well, Jiminy... Oh, well, Jiminy Cricket, they're trying to be dirty again. And as I said before, dirty doesn't work quite as good in this game. And they're sweeping! And they got Shrugged Muck! 
Holy snikes, I think really they just shook and booked themselves right yonder. Holy snikes, first place, or a previous first place probably would have won that if they didn't try all that sweeping right yonder. Well, that was their own mistake that lost them that. First place swove in front of me to try to block. It kind of sort of worked, but it made them loose. And then because they were loose, they couldn't really control it anyway, so they just tried to sweep it anymore. And once they were to the point that they couldn't really control it, all that sweeping just made them go so slow, I was able to drive easily on pass right yonder. Honestly, if that driver probably would have just stayed on the bottom line the whole time, it wouldn't have tried to block. I may have been able to get around for a little bit, but I would have been on the outside and it wouldn't have mattered. But nonetheless... Even though, again, I don't actually think I'm as good of a kart driver as some of the racing has shown, I do somewhat know what I'm doing. I just ain't all that good at executing it. But, well, I think that driver who's racing against is, may actually be faster. Just didn't exactly know how to execute it. <laughs> so, well, there's that, folks. That was a crazy race, right, y'all? The draft is a little bit overpowered. The physics ain't exactly all that good. But that was about as good a racing as you can possibly have, and there will be more about as good a racing as you can possibly have for Grand Turismo Sport. Yeehaw!